Hi, I'm Kata Gruneberg, CPA and Masters of Accountancy graduate of the University of Wisconsin-Madison. I'd like to welcome you to the SBDC Entrepreneurial How-To Video Series. Today, I'm going to give you an overview of the profit and loss statement and how you can use it to make business decisions. Your business transactions are accounted for on either a cash or an accrual basis. The difference is really on the timing of when revenue and expenses are posted. The cash method recognizes revenue and expenses as they occur, while accrual accounting is based on your planned future sales and expenses. A profit and loss statement, also referred to as an income statement, shows your revenue or sales, expenses, and any resulting profit or loss you may have over a period of time, which may be monthly, quarterly, or annually. The layout of this document is revenue minus expenses equals profit or loss. Let's take a look at the statement in more detail. The revenue section is typically broken down by category. For example, if you have a retail store, you may choose to categorize items by specific types, such as books, candles, or accessories. The next line of the statement tracks the cost of the products or services and is called cost of goods sold, or COGS. For example, if you have a revenue line called games, then you would have a COGS line also called games. That would include the direct cost to purchase or manufacture the game. If you don't have any direct expenses, you will not need to worry about this line item. Revenue less cost of goods sold equals gross profit. This is the profit before all of your other operating expenses are accounted for. This section of the income statement allows you to see what types of products or services are selling the best and their associated costs. Knowing this information will allow you to make adjustments to your product mix. Changes might include discontinuing a revenue category that isn't doing as well or determining if you need to increase prices. The next section lists all of the other operating expenses involved in running a business. Common categories may include advertising and marketing, payroll, rent, insurance, utilities, supplies, and so on. Revenue less expenses equals the profit or loss of the business. A positive number indicates a profit. A negative number indicates a loss. This is often referred to as the bottom line, as it is the last line on the profit and loss statement. It is important to enter data into your P&L statement in a timely manner and that the information is accurate. Reviewing your profit and loss statement regularly helps you understand the factors that impact your business, such as hosting a sale or the impacts from the holiday season. It also keeps you on a budget with your expenses. You can quickly see how line items are impacted from period to period. The profit and loss statement is reviewed in conjunction with the balance sheet and cash flow statement to fully understand the financial picture of the business. To gain confidence in your ability to effectively manage your business's financial position, you may want to take a class on financial management and seek help from an accounting professional. Now that you know a little bit more about the profit and loss statement and how it can help you make management decisions for your business, check out the rest of the SBDC Entrepreneurial How-To video series to help you build your business.